All right, guys, welcome to Monday. We're on to a new week of our quarantine fit. And today we're gonna go through a 24 minute EMOM. So that's every minute on the minute. So we're gonna cycle through four different exercises and we're gonna do that six times. Our first movement is going to be the jump rope. So if you have the capability of going outside, you can either do the double under or you can do the single under. I'm not gonna show that one today because I am in my apartment. I don't want to annoy the neighbor downstairs. If you are inside, like I am, we're going to do either the jumping jack or some other form of high knees, butt kickers, whatever is gonna keep you moving for that whole minute. That's minute one. So let's kind of get into that a little more and then we'll come back to the other movements. So first up for the jumping jack, if we are inside, because like I said, I'm not going to show uh, the jump rope today. You're going to start like a pencil, right? Nice and straight. As you jump, you're going to split the legs, reach the hands overhead. If you're just doing the running in place, it's exactly what it sounds like. You can hike the knees up, you can bring the heels to the butt, whatever's gonna keep you moving for minute one. Jumping jack, run in place, jump rope. Minute two, we are going to do sit-ups. So if you're at home, you can grab a pillow out, you can throw the pillow on the ground, and this is gonna kind of support your back here a little bit. If you put the feet flat on the floor, it's gonna use some of your hip and a little bit down into the quad. So if you want more activation on the abs, we're gonna go soles of the feet together. So hands come up. I lay down over that pillow so my back is supported. Hand touch the ground. Big throw of the arms. Hands touch in front of my feet. That is our setup. That's what we're doing minute two. Minute three, we're gonna get into the Kozak squat. So this one is essentially a side lunge if you wanna think of it like that. So you're gonna take your feet out a little wide and the hard part here is keeping the torso up and both feet flat. So you're going to lean down to one side. If that other foot comes up, that's fine. You're gonna come back, go to the other side, come back. So that would be our unweighted option. We have kettlebells and dumbbells, some of us. So you can grab one kettlebell or dumbbell and you're gonna hold it in the front and complete that same movement. Everybody's gonna look a little different as they move through this, but we're just doing what we can with what we have right now. That's minute three, Kozak squat. Last minute, we're gonna get into some pike push-ups. So the pike push-up, Hands are gonna to come to the ground. You can walk your feet out a little bit, but we're trying to get the majority of our weight over our shoulders. Head comes out in front of my hands, touches the ground. I push back up, nose goes to the knees. That's our unweighted option for minute four. If you have weights, you only need one, and we're gonna do the dumbbell snatch. Dumbbell starts on the floor, I bend down, grab it, aggressively bring it overhead. Then I'm going to come back to the floor, switch sides. If I want to switch midair, that's fine. Just make sure both sides of the dumbbell touch the ground before we go back overhead. For my kettlebell folks, you are in for quite the treat today because the kettlebell snatch is a little bit of a bear. So I'm not gonna get too detailed here, but if I'm going on the right arm, I'm reaching to the left side of the handle. I'm going to swing it back, punch overhead, and I'll come back down to the shoulder. This one can be a real forearm buster, so make sure you're being nice and gentle to yourself. That's minute four. So. Once you've completed that fourth minute, we're going back to the top, cycling through each of those minutes for 24 total. Let me know how it goes. Tag me if you do it. Send it to a friend, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for our workout.